So getting the opportunity against Sprout. Good fastball there, jammed him out towards Rivera. And the Gator shortstop will fire over to Caglione in time for the first out. That Sprout ready, and that is nasty again. That was oh, a big was deal. Big deal. 0-2, oh, see ya. T Network, here's BT Ryapel. First pitch swinging, a little slow roller out into the shift. And Griffin Hugus, the second baseman, will make the play about five steps into Gator offense. 1-2, that's going to be a hit. Little blooper out into shallow left field, and they were playing way too deep. And Rivera will get the first knock of the night for the Gators. 3-2 now, and this ball is drilled. Deep left field, an absolute no-doubter, and it's going to leave the stadium. Cade Curlin for the second time already in his freshman season leaves the yard, and the Gators lead it to zip. And he should technically still be in high school. Here's Shellnut first pitch hacking, and he'll line one into the six hole for a base hit. So three consecutive singles. Third. He does square, and we'll see if he can make it. Fielded nicely, throw is in time. Bang, bang play. Mike Rivera says he's safe. Colby Halter wants it reviewed. Enough evidence probably to say that. Yeah, it, it looks simultaneous, but again, there is no such rule. Ty goes to the runner. And there it is. Call him safe. How about that? Drop that bunt down, Colby. And a baby. And gets a fastball, but that's going to be right to where they were playing. Six unassisted three. Inning ending double play. So that'll do it. But the Gators get on the board first. Well, Sproat front at the plate. 0 2 pitch. See ya. Fastball right down the middle and shut. Good slider there by Sproat. He'll get his four strikeout over the last five hitters. That's the 3 2 pitch. See ya. 3 1 to Langford. And he didn't want to give in. Lead off walk. This ball is crushed. The second time tonight a Gator has left Condren Ballpark with a home run. And Caglione continues to destroy first pitches. Euclid, great years with Boston Red Sox. And squibber right off the end of the bat, but right where Shutman was playing, and the third baseman will throw out Ryapel. 0 2 pitch, Rivera hits one hard out towards deep right. Harton going back, and it's going to be off the wall. This one rattles around. We'll see how much Rivera can get. He's already at second. We'll see what they're going to do. Ah, oh, they're going to hold him up. The crowd came to their feet. They really wanted an opportunity there to see if he could go but Taylor Black says I'm going to put you on the brakes and up hitter. Wow. 2-2 two -two, little fister out towards short and will be handled by Gidry to retire the side. So there goes Harker again. As a hitter if you're facing a guy like this you just pick one pitch and just sit on it. Strike. That one got a piece of Rivera behind the bag though and shallow center field is not going to make the play. Bang, bang play. Yeah, very true. That one got a piece of Ryapel. Uh-oh, catcher's interference, and you hope that that did not hit his, hurt his hand. Yeah, he's looking at his finger. Mm. Man. Strike three called. How about Sproat? Here in the fourth inning and on the first pitch, Tyler Shell, that's going to get plunked. Pop up there. Hegeman, the center fielder, drifts over towards left center and it will be caught for the first out. So they like him. 3 2 pitch. That's going to be his first gator hit. Goes the other way and Shellnut was running. So he's going to get all the way to third. Left fielder misplays it, so that's going to allow Chico for to get into second base. And the Gators in business once again here in the fourth. Three-two pitch is down low, so they don't give in. They'd rather face Cags, I guess. A year ago with that velo. Oh, two is a swing and a miss. What a job by Alex Shea. Thing streak to start off the season. 
And that one right back up the middle. It'll be fielded by the shortstop. They'll try to go to second, but not going to be in time. So everybody's safe. Should be a base hit. And Evans will get an RBI. And the Gators now lead at five. The definition. There's ball four. So Ryan Pell will get an easy ribby. And the Gators. Good fastball. Chopped out towards second. And that will be an easy play for Hugus. Oh, and that one's going to hit him. Just about the time. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Oh, one breaking ball is hung, and that one's going to get all the way down to the wall and rattle around in the corner. So the hit batters are both going to come around to score as Rivera's relay throw is a little tardy. And the Bearcats in business now as they get a couple of back on Carrington Cross's double down the left field line. They'll throw to second, and they're going to get him. What a play. Sprout with a dart. Rivera applies the tag. And there's... For Sprout. And it is lined right back up the middle. Rivera is going to get it. Rivera ranging to his left. Full out Superman dive. And there is the second. Badge of honor. 2 2. That one is smoked. Deep right field. Evans will drift back and just watch this thing leave the yard. Fastball right out over the middle part of the plate. And Nicholson will hit his second homer of the year. And it's now a 6 3 Gator lead. Especially here at Florida. As that one misses down low, so 0 2 pitch. Got him. So Sproke gets the strikeout. That is the fortunate ability to come to Florida. And now uh, Brookie gets to uh, to be a Gator next year. I know she's pumped. Been uh, working really, really hard. And the full count pitch is ball four. She'll not want it to hit, right? Halter hits one hard, and that's his second knock of the night. Shillnut trying to get to third, and he will make it. So that's got to make Colby happy. And the Gators fighting right back with the bottom part of their order, first and third. 2-2 two -two pitch. That is lined right to the second baseman. It'll be dropped on the transfer, and luckily it was because they had a chance to maybe get that one down in the dirt, and Halter's going to try for second and make it. Good read on the changeup. Outstanding read. Saw the ball in the dirt. Get it? He does, and he pops it up a mile high. Out towards third again. Shutman's already dropped one, so they'll let the shortstop handle it, and he can't. Langford's going to get a bloop double, and the Gators are going to get two more runs because of it. And that one's going to go all the way to the backstop. They go with a fastball Ooh. and get him again, so... Back-to-back -back walks to start off the sixth inning for Slater later last year. First pitch here is chopped to Caglione. Only play is the first. Slater covers for the first out. Get when you look at those things. 2-2, Two -two, got him. Well, Good job by Slater to come back. Well, maybe the menu said you don't want Nicholson to hit this inning. But one swing of the bat can get it within one. And Slater is going to hit him on the first pitch he sees. So change up and excuse me swing right to Halter. And that will end the inning. That one got a piece of him. Barely clipped him on the inner part of the plate. So Evans is going to get the free pass to first base. Another breaking ball. And that one is hit where nobody is. And that's going to find center field. will trickle away from the second baseman. And that's going to allow Evans to get all the way to third base. Good job of base running. And Ryapel is going to get the base hit. So now Rivera. First pitch is hit right at the third baseman. They'll go to second for one all the way around the horn. That's a nice job by the Cincinnati infield. First time since the first inning. But that's not going to happen as Curlin sends run right back where it came from. And the freshman stays hot. His third RBI of the night. The payoff pitch. Shelnut gets another breaking ball, and it's called strike three. Up. 0 2 pitch is grounded out towards Halter. He'll gobble it up, and his throw is perfect for out number one. Good slider there from Slater, and he'll get his first strikeout. About the inner sanctum. Lazy fly to right. 
Evans backs a few steps and he's got it. And now another walk. So good breaking ball again by the freshman Garula and she coffer two today. As he gets plunked. 2 0 here is a breaking ball that's popped up. Shutman's going to get another chance in foul territory, and he's got this one. And you could hear the crowd really getting on him, though. The first time. Gets a breaking ball and smokes it out towards left field. Halter, round and third, heading for home. He's a brown eyed, handsome man. Evans going to make it up to second base, and Tide does it once again. Full count to BT, and that ball is smoked. Gators are going to get a couple more. Langford scores easily. Here comes Evans. And Ryapel was right with that swing. Back to back hits for him. And the Gators now lead it 12 to 4. That ball is smoked out towards left. Shiko for trying to get there. He won't. It'll be halfway up the wall. So Cameron Gidry, after not having a good night, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 0-2 pitch is chopped out towards second. Curlin has it. And now Caglione does for the first out. Pretty well. 1-1 one, one pitch is a good changeup out towards Halter. He'll go to first with it and retire. Base is loaded and the guy get hit. And that ball is hit hard. And we'll get down to the right field corner. Evans misplays it. And that's going to be an easy Score for Cross, who is very, very quick. A double for Spawn Seller and a two spot here in the eighth for the Bearcats. 1 1 to the freshman. That one's lined and over the glove of the second baseman. So Kate Curlin's got himself a three hit day and he continues to just swing it. Runner goes and the throw from the knees is not going to be in time. So Curlin. Will swipe second base, and for Cade, that is the first stolen base of his Gator career. Shell not hits that one hard out towards deep center field. Hegeman going back. He will stop just shy of the track, easily deep enough for Curlin to tag and get over to third base. That is good pitch after missing way off the plate. That ball is smoked, and he's got his first RBI as a Gator. Curlin will easily score. Shiko for trying for second, and he is out. Josh Hegeman in there. And a fly ball to center. Langford will drift over. And just shy of the track catch. And right center field for out number one. Nesbitt's 3-2 is a little bit low. He lost him. That went all the way to the backstop. And he throws a couple of strikes, gets a ground ball. Halter will look to run her back and throw across in plenty of time for out number two. Yeah, Halter. He's ready again, and there it is. Gator pitching staff gets another strikeout. Brandon Sprout had a career-high nine of them tonight in five innings, and Florida gets their fifth win of the season. They had 17 hits on Wednesday. 